Hi everybody, this is Sue Patterson and I'm here at the Texas Unschoolers Conference in New Braunfels, Texas. And I just wanted to come and let you know a little bit about what's going on here. We, um, a lot of us checked in yesterday and then last night we had an informal get together with families about, um, who wanted to talk about fears and what were things that were holding them back from the unschooling life that they really wanted to have. And what's really cool about these conferences is that you're able to talk with people that are all at different points on the continuum, whether their kids are grown or they're just a couple years older than yours or they're just starting out and they're thinking about it. So it was really fabulous to be able to talk to all these people, talk, hear their questions, hear the answers from those families that are a little bit further down the road. Um, so that was an awesome first start of the conference. And then this morning we had a pancake breakfast and then the families got up and introduced themselves, which was really cool because so many of them were here last year at the other um, facility. Here Now we're here at this place called the Hill Country Cottage and RV Resort. And so um, um, it's... It's a really cute place. It has all these really great cabins. I have this little cabin that's across from the pool, and so that's very fun. Um, so this morning, after our little get-together of, of meeting everybody, we started with the talks, and I opened with um, the legal aspects of homeschooling in the state of Texas and how unschoolers are fulfilling all of the requirements to be legally homeschooling here. And I'm gonna have the presentation up at my website, and so I'll put the link up on our Facebook page um, when I get back home and get it all figured out how to do that. So, um, so look for that. And after I spoke, then Michelle Conaway spoke about being present with your children and how, um, how so many times what we have we have these ideas in our heads where we have limiting beliefs that are keeping us from um, from being present with them, from being able to to relate to them, to hear them, to see what needs to happen in our day. We have these ideas in our heads about what it should look like, and and maybe that's not true. And maybe we need to reevaluate it. And so sometimes she gave some great examples in her own life of how how that has um, impacted her family. Afterwards, she uh, Michelle Holt spoke about radical unschooling, and she took questions, and we did kind of a roundtable type thing where we talked about families that had issues, how to deal with things from a radical unschooling perspective, like kids that are cussing a lot, or freedom with food or what to do about chores and so that was really awesome to be able to talk with different families about how do they put radical unschooling into practice in their real life so that was awesome to be part of that after that was peter gray and peter gray talked about play and the importance of play and how we're not focusing on that as a society. And what I thought was really cool is I think unschoolers are focusing on play a lot. One of the things he talked about um, how families organically would in, in these societies that he studied in the past, how it's really natural for for the kids to go play, the parents to kind of hang out and chat. And we have, you know, in our unschooling communities, we do a lot of that. You know, I know that my family would often have people come over and it'd start at maybe at a park day somewhere, and then it would end at somebody's house. We'd order pizza. The dads would either come or they'd not come and take a little break. And, and it was just a real um, relaxed, enjoyable, unplanned, spontaneous kind of setting. And so I think that one of the things that he was talking about was that that's not happening a lot in society, and I think it's happening in our unschooling community. So there was a lot of really great stuff from his book and his perspective, and that was really cool. So that's what's happened on the first day at the conference and the night before, and they're gonna have the talent show in a little bit. And then we'll have more talks tomorrow. I just wanted to kind of keep you in the loop and let you know what's going on. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.